So I'm boxing for, actually for about 10 years now. I joined the gym when I was 16. Um, I was actually weighing over 300 pounds. My friend Riley Myers was a Golden Glove boxer at the time in Ontario, and uh, I wanted to lose some weight and said, you know what, there's no workout like boxing. Come on in and try it out with me. So I boxed with him for the first year. Um, I never planned on being a fighter or anything, actually, just to get in shape. And I lost over 120 pounds in the first year. So one of the coaches from the gym came up and asked me, he said, you should take one fight to kind of promote what you do, your weight loss and what the gym can do for you. And uh, I wanted to show the community and everybody what it's done for me. So I took one amateur fight and uh, I fell in love with the sport and we've been doing it since. Boxing is an individual sport. So it's you versus you in there. It's really, when you're here training, you're, you're, you're fighting your own mindset. You're the one that wants to quit on yourself. But what's also great is that everybody here has the same mindset. We're all here to improve ourselves, to push ourselves a little bit further every night. So when you get people with the same mindset training together, it's, it's, it creates an environment and uh, a motivation in the room that's unparalleled. Yeah, so I started the gym because I wanted a place for myself to be able to train here and um, get ready for my own professional fights. But as well as I actually want to bring boxing back to the area. So the plan is, is once I, um, once we have enough fighters here and we get some amateur fights going, we want to actually end up having some local cards here. So the goal is by next summer, we're going to have some local guys ready to fight and uh, we'll have some local events going on. And then the ultimate goal is to um, eventually bring professional boxing here as well. I've always loved coaching. Um, when I was 18, my, uh, the coaches at the gym made me a coach at our Peterborough Boxing Club. I received four youths. They were 13, 14 years old. Um, my job was to train them from, from the ground up and uh, within one year and 12 months, three of those four youths were provincial champions. So I started, I seen that, um, I fell in love with coaching side of it as well and seeing that I, I really do bring the best out of people I feel. I have a good, um, a good ability at um, really motivating people, getting them to push harder and uh, truly get to those goals. So yeah, um, and as well as when you're coaching, that's the other thing is that you're always correcting other people's mistakes. So I, when you're correcting other people's mistakes or, or drilling techniques, every time I tell you guys, step in with that jab or turn over that right hand, you're also, I'm drilling that in my own head as well. So it's also cementing all the basics in my head every day as well and keeping those fresh. I've, I've been to Carboneer now um, over the last seven or eight years, um, five or six times. Um, I've worked out here for a few summers and did some training and I noticed there wasn't anything around for any kinds of martial arts as well. There's a little bit of Taekwondo and different styles of martial arts, but nothing for boxing or kickboxing or anything like that. So I really wanted to bring something back to the community and um, have something for them to work towards and something to occupy people's time and to keep them motivated. Boxing is a great workout because uh, it really pushes you to the top levels for cardiovascular. Um, there's not really much else, there's not really any other training out there that uh, pushes you to the levels. We kind of combine, like I said earlier, um, you need agility, you need stamina, you need hand-eye coordination. We put together everything it takes to be an athlete and we put that all into one class. So you kind of get a mix of all different styles of training, which people really enjoy. And um, as well as when you're doing that, it mixes it up so you don't actually don't realize how hard you're working a lot of times until you go to finish. You're like, holy moly, I can't believe I just expended that much energy. Everybody thinks it's just punching in the face, but you have to be an all-around athlete. So we got to work on all different types of, of athletics, including so we got to get our cardio up. So there's a lot of cardio training is one of the most important things. Our hand-eye coordination. So a lot of the a lot of the boxing workouts here, we won't even actually be punching each other in the face. 75-90% of the training is going to be things like our footwork ladder, we can do our heavy bag work, we're going to be doing sprints, skipping, we do um, lots of different um, high intensity drills and different um, circuit training. So um, yeah, for anybody afraid to get punched in the face, that definitely uh, don't, have that, you just don't have to have that set you back. Uh, come on out and give it a try and that's way down the road.